What's up y'all? So Bridget finally made it back into the Guilty Gear series after being skipped by Daisuke for the last 10 years and just not making making it into any of the regulator games. So I'd like to go over some of her crazy offensive mix-up options that she has and brings to the game. And uh, before I start this guide, I just want to say this is mostly going to be an offensive mix-up uh, guide and it's not gonna really have her optimal combos because she's still a brand new character and her combos are not uh, as developed yet if that makes sense because of her being brand new and all and being extremely different from the older games so the first thing I want to go over is her yo-yo uh, mix with the uh, 214 uh, S slash off of knockdown, off of knockdown. So we're going to be using the yo-yo to use the second hit of the bounce to combo off of it and uh, reset the loop and do it again. So this is how it should look. Just like that. So uh, Bridget's uh, rising light attack kind of has a pretty good uh, angle that hits as an instant overhead. And using that with her JM, which has these two hits, lets you gel a true uh, fuzzy, which is something that's really hard to block, basically impossible. So the second thing I want to go over is uh, Bridget's Dust Oki. So Dust is this overhead that's a universal mechanic in the game, which everyone's able to do. But the thing is, the combo off of Dust, you have to spend meter, which looks like that. Well, there's some characters in the game that can kind of uh, combo off of, well not kind of, they can actually combo off of uh, their dust by uh, setting something up beforehand, like Cappy Chaos, Testament, or Zato with their D. And Bridget joins the club and she's also able to use her yo-yo, which has its bounce effect, and to combo off of it. So, it, it should look something like this. It didn't combo that time, but it, it does combo. Just like that. So the third thing I want to go over with Bridget is her throw Oki. Bridget's throw Oki is actually ridiculous. It's really, really strong. And uh, I'll just show you how it looks. Oh, give me a sec. As you can see, she can <laughs> she can get a full combo off of her throw with her yo-yo, <laughs> which is actually ridiculous, and she can just keep looping it over and over again. <laughs> and the last and final thing I want to go over with Bridget is her 214K mix off of yo-yo. So when Bridget has a yo-yo out, she can just do this rolling crush thing. I don't know if you guys played Dragon Ball, but Cell had a move that was called rolling crush, and that's what I just call this from now on. I don't want to look it up, but yeah, so she's also able to use air actions. See, as you can see, she can air dash, air dash forward. But what we want to do is actually use the roaming crush part and uh, do a high low from that. So I'll show you guys. That was the high. Why did the high again? And that's the low. So uh, that's really hard to block, as is most of Bridget's tools. She's just a really strong mix-up, all-around character with a DP. So like, she can pretty handle. She can handle most situations pretty well. And uh, also, thanks. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys uh, really learned something from this video and how to utilize Bridget's mix-ups to open up your opponent and uh, <laughs> makes an oppress your fellow Guilty Gear Strive players. Thanks for watching.